Welcome to Toffee TV, it's the Everton News Daily. Everton have announced a new partnership with US-based company Fancurve to create digitally wearable shirts for supporters. There's more information on the website about that, I can't really tell you much about that, but what I would say, it's another commercial sponsor, which is good. It's another partnership, um, which is obviously good for the club commercially, and it's a, a US-based company as well, which is always good. Everton are closing in on a Drissa Garnagate deal with PSG. Been reported in the past hour or so that he is on Merseyside having a medical. Looks like it's going to be a, a permanent deal. Final details are set to be discussed in the next couple of days. I don't know whether Everton wanted a, a loan deal initially, but it looks like it's going to be a permanent, which is it's okay. I, I don't know if this is going to cost us much, but you know he's, he's still a good player. He's a good player for Everton, a great player actually, and he's done really good in France. So I imagine he'll come in and be straight into our first team. Still offers, you know. Lots of quality in, in in that midfield. Even at his age, he's still he's still a good player. So I imagine Everton will get him in and try and find a replacement for for the long term. But you know, even though we are missing some quality in midfield, I think he'll come in and I think he'll be really good for us if that is a permanent deal. Uh, Lewis Dobbin is close to joining Derby County on loan for the season. Obviously, he, he went to America with the with the team. We didn't get much much time in pre season, so I imagine Lampard and, and Thelwell and the rest of the staff already decided that he was going to go out on loan. I'd, obviously, we've got quite a few wingers and players who play in that position in the first team, so he might may not get much time in the first team. I think he's proven he's, he's more than good enough to play in under 23. So the next step for him now at his age as well is to go out on loan. And obviously, Onyango has gone to League One, so following Onyango there in League One, it is I think it's a good opportunity for him to get some minutes, try and try and improve as a player, and hopefully come back. Whether he can go back in the first team next season or go somewhere else better on loan next season hopefully he has a good loan spell this season uh, and finally Craig Porson will referee Everton's opening game of the season against Chelsea this Saturday at 5.30pm so let me know your thoughts on that also let me know your thoughts on Adrissa Garner Gay would be happy with that signing do you think he's the right player or do you think Everton should be going for someone younger um, so let me know and also let me know if you think he improves Everton in the comments Thank you, very, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. And also join Premier for more videos, including live daily exclusive videos. Thanks for watching. See you later.